Thank you for being here. This is my buddy Shanti. She, she usually likes to assist me in the classes. So go ahead and lay down on your back, please. Bend your knees, put your feet flat on your mat. And as you do, bring both of your hands on your belly and let your knees knock in towards each other. Your feet are mat width apart. And just breathe into your belly, feel your belly expand. As you do, feel how the belly the navel lifts up away from the spine. And as you exhale, feel kind of the softening and letting go and also really feeling the navel good closer to the spine. So just get really connected with that. Inhale, feel the belly expand. Exhale, see how the belly just softens down towards the spine. A couple more times on your own. Nice deep inhalation, let the belly expand. Maybe the fingers become separated from each other as you exhale. Let the belly fall, let the spine fall, let the navel fall towards the spine. One more time, nice deep inhale, inhale, inhale. And exhale. And then bring your feet a little bit closer to each other. Bring your heels a little bit closer to your buttocks. Press through the bottom of your feet. Lift the hips up into a low bridge. It doesn't have to be the highest bridge ever. And lift the arms overhead. Inhale. And as you exhale, lower the hips down, lower the arms down. And see if you can uh, kind of synchronize this. So at the top of your inhalation, your hips are lifted, the arms are reaching overhead. At the bottom of your exhalation, your hips are lowered down to the floor. And as the hips touch, the hands touch down the floor next to you. Close your eyes and just move like a moving meditation. Inhale, lift the hips up, arms reach overhead. Exhale, lower the hips down, lower the arms down, all the way down to the floor. A few more times, nice deep inhalation. You don't have to go by my count, but just see if you can lift the hips up at the top of your inhalation, and then at the bottom of your exhalation, lower the hips down. And let's do two more times together. Inhaling, lifting the hips up, arms reach overhead. Exhaling, lower the hips down, arms down next to your body. And last one, inhale, press through the bottom of both feet. Lift the hips up, arms reach overhead, and exhale, and lower the hips down as the arms come all the way down. Pause here for a moment. Draw your right knee to your chest, interlace the fingers around the right shin, extend the left leg straight. If you can, pick up the head and shoulders off the ground, bring your knee towards your forehead or your nose, and then hover the left leg off the ground. If you can, the next phase, extend the right leg straight up towards the sky. Pause here for a moment as you draw that right leg a little bit closer to you. Exhale, lower everything down, bring the right foot down, bring the left knee to your chest, extend the right leg straight. As you draw that left knee to your chest, lift the head and shoulders up, bring that knee a little bit closer to your nose or your forehead or your chin, and then hover the right foot off the ground. If you like to, you can extend the left leg straight, pointing the toe towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, lower the leg a little bit closer to your body. We're gonna go side to side just like this. Right knee to your chest, left leg hovers, lift the head and shoulders up, extend the left, right leg straight. Inhale, draw the left knee to your chest, right leg is straight, extend the left leg straight. Go ahead and move with your own breath. Inhale, you can go as fast as you want to and exhale. Inhale, left knee to your chest and exhale, extend. Inhale, right knee to your chest and exhale, straight. Inhale, left knee to your chest and left leg straight. Two more times, inhale and exhale. Inhale, left knee, exhale, straight. Last one, inhale and exhale and the flip comes to your chest and extend and then lift both legs off the ground lift the toes towards the ceiling separate the legs wide apart from each other take the arms overhead interlace the fingers release the index finger 
Keep the palms of your hands to, together. Take a nice deep breath in as you extend the arms. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Draw the fingers in between your legs and reach in between your legs. Inhale, taking the arms overhead. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up and reach in between. Really keep the legs straight and strong, reaching out to the sides. Exhale and lift. Nice and slowly. We're not going to rush in through this. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, contract the abdominal muscles as you lift in between your legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up. Inhale, reach away from the hips. Exhale, up and two more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Last one, inhale, reach above your head. Exhale, reach in between. Now bring your legs together and cross the right leg in front of the left. Reach towards your right side of your body. Inhale, come back to the center. Switch legs and reach to the outside the left leg. Inhale, back to the center. Switch legs, reach to the right. Inhale, to the center. Switch, reach to the left. Inhale, center. Switch, reach to the right. Inhale, center. Switch, reach to the left. Let's do five more. Inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale, four more, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, reach outside, inhale, exhale, reach to the left, last one, inhale, reach to the right, inhale, reach to the left, and then bring the knees to your chest, rock a little bit side to side on your back, Put your left foot flat on the floor. Extend the right leg straight up towards the sky. Bring that left heel a little bit closer to your buttocks. Take your hands down. Press your palms down. Take a nice deep breath in. As you press through the bottom of that left foot, reach the right toes up towards the city. Inhale. Keep pressing up. We're going to pulse it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, hold it, and then take the right ankle on top of the left knee and lift the hips up a little bit higher. Pause here for a moment. You might feel a nice stretch in the outside of that right hip. Breathe into it and lift the hips up a little bit higher if you can. Hold, pause for two more, and then lower the hips down and switch legs. Right foot down, left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Press through the bottom of that right foot, lift the hips up. And then you're going to pulse it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, straight up towards the ceiling, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it, lift it up a little bit higher, cross that left ankle on top of the right knee. Lift the hips up a little bit higher if you can. See how you can feel that in your hamstring and the buttocks. Press through the bottom of that right foot. Hold for three, for two, and one. And then bring everything down. Rock and roll side and side. Or you can rock and roll up to this uh, on your spine and come all the way up to a seat. As you come into a seat, put your hands behind you. So we can turn the fingertips towards your hips or out or back behind you, whatever feels good on your shoulders. Take the right leg up again and then cross that right ankle on top of the left knee. So this depends on, I want you to think about lifting the chest up, right? Notice if you're rounding the back, can you instead lift the chest up? If you feel like this is just too much, you can walk your hands a little bit farther away from the hips or you can walk your foot a little bit farther away. The closer you bring the foot and your torso to your leg, the more a stretch you get in that right hip. Now flex the right foot to protect the right knee. Just gonna pause here for a moment. So lift the chest up, make sure you're not rounding your back. Send your breath to that space outside of that right hip, the piriformis. Make sure that right foot is flexed. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then begin to twist your lower body so that the bottom of your right foot is now on the floor and then you sit tall. 
As you sit tall, you can take your left arm up and then take it to the outside of that right knee into a little bit of a twist. It doesn't have to be the deepest twist yet. Inhale, lift the spine, exhale and twist a little bit more. You might feel this a little bit more in the IT band, in the outside of that right thigh. Coming back to the center, we're gonna come out of the pose exactly the way we went in. So come into figure four, just like that, and then put the right foot flat, extend the left leg up, cross the left ankle on top of the right knee. Again, make the adjustments that you need because as you know, we're asymmetrical. One side is always a little bit tighter than the other. So as long as you're not rounding the back, you really wanna lift the chest up. You can walk your torso a little bit closer to your leg. You can walk your right heel a little bit closer to your bum, but make sure that left foot is flexed and that the chest is lifted. And as you pause here, wherever you're feeling the tension, send your breath to that space. Right there, imagine you have a little massage therapist right in that left hip and it's kind of uh, rubbing that left hip for you. Close your eyes for a moment, breathe into it, lift the chest up, get that roundness out of the back. And then as you exhale, begin to twist your lower body towards the right as you bring the bottom of that left foot down on the floor, reach the right arm up and take that right arm across your body and then twist over to the left. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale and twist to the left. You can take your gaze over to the left shoulder if you like to. Just a nice, easy twist. It doesn't have to be a deep, deep twist. And then unwind, please, and gently come to tabletop pose. So bring your hands down on the floor. Knees are directly underneath the hips. Wrists are directly underneath the shoulders. Place your hands down. Spread your fingers wide apart. Tuck your toes under. Then, excuse me, bring the top of your feet down first. Inhale, lift the chest up into a cow pose. Exhale, tuck your top toes under, pull the belly around the back, and then pick up the knees off the ground into a bear pose. So we're gonna go back and forth between cow pose and bear pose. Inhale, uh, your, toes are uh, your toes are not tucked. Top of the feet come down on the floor. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, now tuck the toes under and pick up the knees off the ground, bear pose. Inhaling, come into cow pose. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, into bear pose. So we're gonna add a little bit of something here. Inhale, as you come into cow pose, lift the heels towards your bum, almost like you're trying to kick yourself in the bum. Exhale, lower the toes down, the knees come up, bear pose. Inhale, and come into your cow pose with the heels lifted towards your buttocks. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift the knees up. Drop the chin, tuck the tail. Inhale, and lift the chest, kick yourself in the bum. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift the knees up. Two more times, inhale, cow pose with the heels to your glutes. Exhale, tuck the toes under, knees up. And last one, inhale, and lift and exhale, this time take it all the way to downward facing dog. Walk your feet side to side, so you kind of bend one knee and straighten the other knee. Make sure you drop the head down all the way. I know sometimes when you're doing yoga online, you're trying to look up to see what's happening on the screen, but for now, just drop the head down completely. I want you to really relax the back of the neck. There's nothing going on up here, other than what I'm saying. So really drop the head down, let the back of your neck stretch out. This should feel really good, especially if you've been working all day on the computer. Let the top of your head just melt towards the mat, and then find stillness. You can bend both knees, lift the heels off the ground, press the earth away, let the head drop completely. Take a nice deep breath in and then slowly walk your feet all the way to your hands. And as you walk your feet to your hands, again, bend the knees, let your rib cage rest on top of your thighs and then grab opposite elbows 
and just drop the head down. Again, really drop the head down. I want you to really release all the tension you've gathered all day long. So feel as if all the tension you can just pour out of an open portal on top of your head, down and away. You feel a nice stretch in the low back, in the mid back, in the upper back. Let the weight of your head and weight of your upper body just pour everything down, everything out. So no more tension held in the upper back and shoulders and the back of the neck. And then as you're ready, inhale, bring your hands to your hips, keep your chin to your chest, bend the knees deep, and then super, super slow, come all the way up to standing. As you come up to standing, Tadasana, palms are open towards the top of your mat, feet are hip width apart, Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling into Arva Hastasana. Exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and fold and step your left foot back. Behind you, bring the left knee down to the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, take the elbows out to the side and twist your torso over to the right. Take the back of your left hand to the outside of that right knee and reach the right hand to your hamstring. Inhale, press the back of the left hand onto your right knee and do a little bit of a twist. You can take your gaze over to the right shoulder. Inhaling, unwind, bring the arms all the way back up to the ceiling. Exhale, lower the hands down and step the right foot back, come to top of the push-up. Plank pose, pause here for a moment. Bring your legs together, squeeze your inner thighs together, engage the core, lift the belly up, and then hover the left toes off the ground, and lower the left toes down, and then hover the right toes off the ground, and lower the right toes down. Lift the hips up, downward facing dog, and then walk your feet all the way back to your hands. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, Uttanasana, drop the head. Step your right foot back. Bring the right knee down to the floor. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, take the elbows out to the side and twist over to the left. Pause here for a moment and then take the right hand to the outside of that left knee Take the left hand behind you, grab your hamstring. As you press that right hand to the outside of the left knee, you can twist a little bit deeper. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, untwist. Inhale and come back to the center, unwind. Bring both hands down to the floor. Step your left foot back, plank pose. Bring the legs together once again. Squeeze the inner thighs together. This time, as you pick up the left toes off the ground, take the left leg out to the left, and then bring it back to the center, lower it down. Pick up the right toes off the ground, right leg out to the right, bring it to the center, lower it down, and downward facing dog. Bend the knees again, one more time, and then this time, jog, jump, walk, or float your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway up, Exhale and fold. Bring your hands to your hips, come all the way up to standing. Tadasana. Inhale, reach the arms up, Arva Hastasana. Exhale, bend the knees and fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plant your hands down, step your left foot back behind you. This time, keep the left knee off the ground. Press through the bottom of that right foot to come on up, high lunge. Bend the left knee deeper, so both knees are bent. Take the elbows out to the side, twist over to the right. Left hand to your uh, right knee, right hand to your left hamstring. Lift the chest up, twist a little bit deeper to the right. Circle your hands all the way down to the floor. Step your right foot back behind you. Bring the legs together, squeeze the inner thighs together. Left foot hovers, take it out to the side, bring it back in and lower it down. 
right foot hovers take it right to the right bring it back in and lower it down downward facing dog walk your feet all the way to your hands inhale halfway up exhale and fold step your right foot back behind you right knee stays off the ground press through the bottom of that left foot to come all the way up high lunge andre asana bend the right knee deep elbows out to the side twist your torso over to the left right hand to the outside of the left knee left hand to your right hamstring press that right hand to the knee to twist a little bit deeper inhale and exhale circle your hands all the way down to the floor once again step your left foot back bring the legs together now listen up we're going to add here left foot lifts up bend the left knee flex the foot take it out to the side bring it back in extend the leg straight lower it down lift the right toes up bend the right knee take it out to the side bring it in extend the leg lower it down downward facing dog inhale and exhale walk your feet all the way to your hands inhale halfway up exhale bend the knees and fold forward bring your hands to your hips come all the way up to standing tadasana stand tall this time as you pause here for a moment reach the right arm up left hand reaches to the outside of your left thigh and fold over to the left inhale come back to the center pick up that left arm reach up lower the right hand down and fold over to the right inhale come back up to the center reach both arms up bend the knees and fold forward inhale halfway up exhale plant your hands down step your left foot back so we're going to keep adding on to this inhale high lunge come on up andre asana bend the left knee elbows out to the side lift the chest inhale exhale twist over to the right left hand reaches forward right hand reaches back twist a little bit deeper bring your hands to the heart center and then step your left foot back to the right foot and take your left elbow to the outside of the right knee into a twisted chair make sure your knees are aligned with each other so that left knee wants to come forward don't let it take a nice deep breath in if you like to open up your wings exhale lower the hands down to the floor forward fold and then step the right foot back behind you inhale lift the arms up high lunge andre nasana bend the right knee exhale elbows out to the side twist over to the left right hand to the left knee left hand to the right hamstring inhale lift exhale and twist pause here for a moment take a nice deep breath in bring your hands to the heart center lean forward and step the right foot next to the left foot right elbow goes to the left knee make sure that right knee stays aligned with the left knee inhale lengthen the spine exhale and twist inhale back to the center exhale fold forward step the right foot back left foot back come to top of the push-up bring your legs together inhale left leg lifts bend the knee take it out to the left bring it back to the center extend it out lower it down right foot lifts bend the knee out to the side back to the center extend it up lower it down downward facing dog bend both knees deep walk jump or float your feet to your hands inhale halfway up exhale and fold bring your hands to your hips come all the way up to standing this time bring your big toes together heels are an inch apart from each other inhale reach both arms up grab your right wrist with the left fingertips and then take that left leg all the way back behind you so you're crossing it back behind you and come into curtsy bending both knees and then now fold over to the right and feel that nice stretch on that left side body 
Inhale, come back up to the center. Step the left foot next to the right foot. Switch arms, right fingertips reach for your left wrist. Reach the arms up, inhale. And then take that right leg all the way up and back. Cross it behind the left leg and fold over to the left. So feel that nice stretch on the right side of your body. Inhale, come back up to the center. Step the right foot next to the left foot. Bend the knees and fold forward. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale and fold. Step the left foot back behind you. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Twist your torso to the right. Right hand to your left hamstring. This time, reach the left arm all the way up and over and bring the left elbow on top of the right knee. Bring your hands together in prayer pose. Strengthen that left leg back behind you. So don't let that left hip drop. Lift the left hip up, really strong left leg. Imagine you're pressing your left heel onto an imaginary wall back there. Press through the bottom of that right foot and step the left foot next to the right foot into a twisted chair. Open up the arms if you like to open up your wings. Inhale, exhale, untwist, bring your hands back to the floor and step the right foot back behind you. Inhaling, high lunge, Andre Nasana. Exhale, bend that right knee, elbows out to the side, twist to the left. Right hand, left knee, left hand, right hamstring. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale and twist. Pause here for a moment, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, now reach the right arm up and stretch out the front side body. And then right elbow comes to the outside of the left knee as you strengthen the, straighten the right leg back. You can bring your hand to the prayer pose. Take a nice deep breath in. Really lift that hamstring up. The back leg has to be really strong. Press your heel onto an imaginary wall. Now take your gaze down to your left foot. And then as you're ready, step the right foot next to the left foot. Come into a twisted chair. Make sure the knees stay aligned. You can open up your wings here if you like to. Inhale, twist and exhale, untwist. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands down. Step your left foot back, right foot back. Come to top of the push-up. Pause. Now this time, we're going to take that left leg out to the left and tap. Bring it back in. Take the right foot out to the right and tap. Bring it back in. Left knee to your chest, extend the left leg out, left leg out to the left, bring it back in. Right knee to your chest, extend it out, right leg out to the right, bring it back in. Listen up here, left knee to your left elbow, extend it out, take it out to the side, bring it back in. Right knee to your right elbow, extend it out, take it out to the side, bring it back in, last one. Bring the knee to your left knee to your chest. Now twist it under your body. Extend the leg straight out under your body. And then bring it back in. Extend it back behind you. Right knee to your chest. Right knee to the left elbow. Take that right leg out underneath your body. And then back in and extend it out. And you're all done. Bend both knees, come into child's pose. Stretch it out, drop the forehead down, stretch out the arms. If you like to, you can rest the arms next to your body. And take a nice deep breath in, sigh it out, open mouth, let it go. Inhaling deep through the nose. Exhale out, out and open mouth. And then as you're ready, place yourself all the way up, please. And we're gonna come into Malasana Garden Pose. So if you have a block, I would highly suggest that you start with sitting on a block. If you don't have a block, you can sit on a chair or you, uh, or, um, you know, a stool, or if you don't need a block, that's fine too. Make sure that your knees and the toes are pointing the same direction, okay? So most important, if you're here, if you feel like the heels are lifted, you can always take a blanket and step 
your heels on top of a blanket because we're going to stay here for about a couple minutes. So get really comfortable. If you don't need any of those props, that's great. Bring your arms on the inside of your thighs. Kind of um, allow your triceps to open the knees out to the side. Again, make sure the toes and the knees are pointing the same direction. That's the most important. Bring your uh, thumbs to your sternum. Let the tailbone lengthen down towards the floor. So I'm going to turn around so you can see me. Make sure you're not rounding the back this way. I'd like you to see if you can lift the chest up so the tail is not tucked under, but it's going back behind you, okay? And as you lift the chest up, you can take your gaze to your fingertips, keep the thumb and the little pinky glued to each other, and then you separate the other six fingers. And this is called the Lotus Mudra. You can look to your Lotus Mudra that grows out of mud and water towards sunshine. So this is a really beautiful mudra to remind us that some of the difficulties we go through in life allows us to grow and become better, beautiful human beings. Just a little mudra to practice once in a while. Keep your gaze on your lotus flower. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale it out. And then just slowly begin to come all the way down. Bring your seat down on the floor. Extend that left leg out. Bring the right heel to your groin. Take your hands to your rib cage and then turn your rib cage towards your left, right leg. Flex that right foot. Take your right hand next to your body. Reach the left arm up. Inhale. As you exhale, begin to reach towards your right toes. But the goal is not necessarily to touch your toes. You should think about bringing your belly button towards your knee. Okay, so inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, belly button towards the knee. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, belly button towards the knee. Last one, inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, as the belly button comes towards the knee, pause there. And then just lower that left hand wherever it lands. Take the right hand next to your leg, lengthen both sides, and as you exhale, you can begin to fold towards that right leg. Again, it doesn't really matter how far you come down. Really, the most important thing is keeping the spine long, even in, fold, in forward fold positions. So really try and get out of the habit of rounding our back, um, helps the helps our spine and all the muscles surrounding the spine get stronger and more sup, sup, uh, supple and uh, flexible. And inhale, lift the chest up and then take your left hand next to your body. As you press your left hand down, pick up your hips and reach the right arm up and over, stretch it out, stretch out that right side. Oh, this really should feel so good and exhale and come all the way down. Extend the left leg out, bend the right knee, bring the right knee to your, uh, right heel to your groin, excuse me. Take your hands to your rib cage and turn, twist, <laughs> twist your torso over to the left. Flex that left foot, left hand goes next to your right arm reaches up, inhale. As you exhale, begin to reach towards your left toes. Inhale and expand. Exhale again. Think about belly button coming towards your knee. Inhale, expand. Exhale, belly button towards the knee. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, belly, belly, belly button and hold. And then bring that right hand down, left hand down next to your body, next to your leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold towards the leg. Towards the leg not necessarily bringing your forehead down. This pose is called forehead to the leg, Janusha Shasana, forehead to the knee, but 
Um, I feel like in our culture of constantly rounding the back, it's a better practice to have, think about the spine getting longer instead of rounded. And then just pause here for a moment, keep the left toes flexed and inhale, slowly begin to lift yourself back up. Take the right hand next to your right side and as you press the right hand down, lift the hips up and stretch out the left side body, a little bit of a uh, contra extension. And then lower the hips down and extend both legs straight out to the side, wide legged forward fold. So take your hands behind you and kind of move the meaty part of the buttocks out and away so that you can ground the sits bones down and keep the hands behind you for right now. Press the heels down, press the calves down, hamstrings down. Really lengthen the legs away from the hips. Press the legs down, really strong, strong legs. Lift the chest up. Only if you don't round your back, you can bring your hands in between and then gently begin to lean forward. Only go as far as you can. The minute you feel like you're rounding the back, just back up a little bit. This really saves you a lot of headache in injuries and unnecessary unnecessary injuries. So go only as far as it feels good on your spine. You can drop the head down, drop the chin down. If you start going this way and you feel like your back is rounding, just back off. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale it out. And then gently begin to press yourself all the way back up. With the help of your hands, bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together in Baddha Konasana. Interlace your fingers in the outside of the feet. Draw your heels a little bit closer to your uh, groin. You can flutter your butterfly wings. Inhale and exhale. Again, think about the belly button coming towards your heels. You can fold forward as much as you like to. Maybe you like to take your elbows on the inside of those thighs and open the legs a little bit more. And then gently come all the way back up. Put your feet flat on the floor. If you have a um, blanket with you, I'm gonna invite you to make your blanket into a long, uh, rectangle like this. If you don't have one, that's okay. It's not mandatory. But take that blanket and then put it on your mat and you're just going to uh, lay down on your blanket. The, all the blanket does is it helps you open the chest a little bit more. Um, bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together into Supta Baddha Konasana. Make sure the back of your head is resting on something too. So. If you feel like your chin is lifted, draw the chin to your chest, let the back of your neck get long. And then again, bring your hands on your belly, close your eyes, breathe into the belly, breathe into the chest, breathe into the collarbones. This is called the three-part breath. Exhale, empty the belly, empty the chest, empty the collarbones. So, Go at your own pace, please. We're going to stay here for a few minutes, a couple, just a minute or so before we come into our final pose. Inhale into the belly, into the chest, into the collarbones. Exhale, empty the belly, empty the chest, empty the collarbones. One more time. Inhale. Keep inhaling. Keep inhaling, exhale, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. And then as you're ready, you can straighten out your legs, come into your final pose, sweet Shavasana. Extend the arms out next to your palms are open and let the back of your head rest comfortably on the floor. Close your eyes. This 
Shavasana is a very important part of this practice. Please stay with it. This allows you to consolidate, allows your brain to consolidate what happened, allows your body to integrate what happened. And it's actually the time that you get stronger and more flexible. So really, really important to take this few minutes before you continue on with the rest of your evening or day. Let yourself just rest. stay quiet here for a couple minutes so you can really benefit from this deep rest. As you're ready, gently begin to deepen your breath. Draw your knees to your chest, one knee at a time. Notice which nostril you're breathing out a little bit easier. Roll over to that side, pause for a moment. And then with the strength in your top arm, press yourself to a comfortable seat, please. As you come into your seat, bring your hands to your heart center, bow down to yourself. What a beautiful gift to be able to give to yourself, creating this time and space to take care of you. What a rare gift. So really offer yourself some compassion, God, kindness, love, kudos for your dedication and commitment to take care of yourself. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Have a beautiful evening. Namaste.